Germany take a tough new stance. German Chancellor Angela Merkel calling for a nationwide ban on burqas during a speech at her political party's conference. Merkel telling the crowd, quote, the full veil should be forbidden wherever legally possible. Here now is Zudi Jasser, founder and president of the American Islamic Forum for Democracy. A lot of people don't know what to make of this, Zudi. And in, among them, the Council on American Islamic Relations said, we believe everyone should be free to wear the clothing of their choice and that laws targeting the tiny minority of Muslim women who wear face coverings are an expression of increasing Islamophobia in Europe. What do you think? Uh, I think their position, Melissa, is absurd. And I think it's interesting that Angela Merkel is talking about German culture. I think she's throwing a bow into the nationalists. Um, I'm against the burqa. I'm against the face covering. But it doesn't even have to get into the issue of culture. This is about national security. People don't have a right to be walking in public unidentifiable. And if CARE and other Islamist apologist grievance groups want to stand by that, they're ignoring suicide bombers that have gone unidentified. They're ignoring national security and using religious freedom as a shield to not deal with the problem of radicalization. And by the way, the Burqa lobby is not huge. I think Merkel is, is just throwing a bone. She's not really approaching the real issue, which is her national fratricide with the million immigrants that have come in that they don't know how to deal with. So I'm not sure that she's exactly changing her primary problem, which is the elephant in the room. It, do you think she's making it about security? I mean, that's what it's about for the most part in other spots, right? Is the idea that if you totally obscure your face, I mean, it's kind of like there's a law in the U.S. about protesting and wearing a full mask so that your face can't be identified in any way. Um, I, I mean, is that is that what it really comes down to, you think, in the case of Germany? That I. I think that's what she should make it about. It's more rational because if she's going to talk about German culture, where was she when she let a million people in that 20, 30 percent have sympathies for ISIS, seem to be Islamist and don't accept any of the rest of it and are not going to assimilate into German culture. So if she really cares about German culture. She should, she should have been making that argument months, if not years ago. Yeah. But now she should be talking about national security because, as you said, the Supreme Court, even in America, doesn't stand by what CARE is talking about. This is You can't have demonstrations with masks where security can't tell who's doing what. When you're in public, you don't have a right to be shielded from identifying so that police and others can tell who you are if you commit an act of crime. Why, why is it not a religious freedom, though, Zudi? I mean, for people who feel that if you set security aside, I mean, if this is the way that they want to observe their religion, why isn't it not imposing on that? Well, that's a great question, because, listen, I think we have to be careful what we're talking about. The burqa includes not only the face covering, but the entire body covering. I think the government should have nothing to do with what we choose to wear personally. But the face itself, human interaction, when you step out of your home, you are engaging in a social contract with society. The Constitution is about a social contract to protect individual rights, but also to protect our individual rights from others that might infringe on it. If you can't tell what that other is, male, female, you can't tell anything once they cover their face. That is not constitutional. I believe that then becomes a major, not only security issue, but it's not human. It's not a human interaction to have some unknown person interacting with you that you can't engage on an individual, identifiable basis. Interesting conversation. Zudi, thank you as always. We appreciate your time. That is a great conversation. Thanks,